Hi guys, today we're going to be destroying some buildings using cell fracture in Blender. Then we'll be importing it all into Unity and I'll show you how to make them actually explode like this. This might be quite basic for some people, so just to save you guys time, I'll be taking an FBX file from the imported models from a pack called Medieval City Kit. I'll be then importing that into Blender. I'll be using Remesh to clean the mesh up and then I will be cell fracturing it. Then I'll be re-importing it into Unity and I'll just swap prefabs with the destroyed prefab from Blender and the original mesh just using game objects head active. So first off let's grab the building we want to destroy and grab the mesh from the mesh filter component. That'll then show us where the FBX is and we want to open that in uh, Windows Explorer. So then once we have the FBX file we need to import that into Blender. So at this point I just copy it out because I don't want to be modifying meshes that are in my project. So then inside Blender we want to go to File, Import, FBX. We need to then navigate to where we put it and hit Import FBX. Let's delete the original cube real quick. I'm going to show you a very common problem with uh, doing this. Let's go ahead and delete this outer shell as well, we won't need it. So if we go ahead and apply cell fracture on this mesh, you'll notice that there's a lot of strange artifacts left behind. So these are the settings I'm using with cell fracture. I get good results with these. Let's go ahead and hit OK here. So this might take a wee while depending on the complexity of the mesh, but you'll notice here the problems right away. This is because the topology of the mesh is not is not done very well. So we get all of these um, random pieces everywhere. So this is quite a common problem. Um, I've noticed it with quite a few assets that I've gotten off the store. So let's go ahead and undo all that. So in order to fix this problem, I use a modifier called Remesh. So there's a lot of settings here, but usually I go with Sharp and just kind of mess with the settings here until I'm happy. Then we can go ahead and hit apply on the modifier. And now we're ready to rerun the cell fracture. You'll notice right away that it finishes up quite quickly and that there's no unwanted artifacts in there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and export this as an FBX so that we can bring it back into Unity. Now we simply drag the file back into Unity and it will import it for us. And I'm just going to drag it into my scene and you're going to notice that it looks a bit strange, but that's okay. So I'm just going to give it a dark material here. So you could paint every individual section, but that would be very time consuming. And uh, plus you can cover most of this up with particle effects anyway, smoke, etc. Now I'm going to create a prefab out of this. I need to clean up the prefab a little bit. So first I put it into a folder and then I'm going to remove the camera and the light from the prefab itself and this shell here. We want the debris at the top to fall down. So we'll be adding a rigid body to those. I'm just going to drag a box over them and uh, find the ones near the bottom that I don't want to move and make sure that they're deselected. I'm just going to reparent these. There is a tool that makes this very handy called Easy Commands available on the asset store but I will just show you how to do it without it for now. Let's let's mark the rest of them as static at this point. And give them their own parent.
I'm going to add a cube here at the bottom with the nav mesh obstacle attached to it so that our AI won't try and walk through the base of the mesh. We're ready now to add the bridge of bodies to the falling pieces. Let's also give them a little bit of mass. I just added a terrain here so that we can test it. Now we're almost there, it just needs colliders. I'm going to add a mesh collider. Uh, with convex enabled on these. These perform quite well. And there you have it. Uh, next I'll show you how to swap out the prefabs using a script. So let's find the original and overlay them on top of each other. An easy way to do this is to just set the destroyed one as a child and then reset its position. Now let's turn off the destroyed game object and open up a script. I'm just going to do a quick and simple coroutine here to blow it up after some seconds. Uh, first off, we need a reference to the destroyed game object. I'm just going to start a coroutine here called blow up and inside I'm just going to wait for three seconds. And when those seconds are up, I want the destroyed prefab to become active. And just before that, I want the original game object, the current game object that the script is attached to, to become inactive. I'm also going to set the destroyed prefabs parent to null so that it moves it outside of the hierarchy. So now, after three seconds, it blows up. That pretty much wraps it up. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, you can also reach me at the Twitch TV slash Irish John Games. I'll drop a link to that in the description stream a live game dev over there and i'm more than happy to go through this again with you live if you like um also you can drop a comment um yeah subscribe for more tutorials there's more coming and um i'll see you in the next one hopefully thank you bye, -bye.